In this video, I am going to discuss with you how to enter batch transactions in QuickBook Desktop Accountant. So, it will save a lot of your time and it will make your work easy. So, let's start. So, for when you are entering the batch transaction, you have to go to Accountant. This uh, is available in Accountant version only, Accountant version of the QuickBook so you must have quickbook desktop accountant version so when then you will go to the accountant and here you will find enter batch transactions all right so when you come when you will come here you can enter a lot of your transaction at once and it will save 90% uh, of your time 90% of your time this is uh, ridiculously good and i have used myself so it has saved a lot of my time so here suppose we want to enter the invoices so i have already made over here one so suppose this is your data in excel or you can get data you have some sales reports or you are using another uh, software from which you get the data but then you have to enter each and every uh, transactions or each and every invoice so it takes a lot of your time then this is this uh, this is for you so you can enter a lot of data in few minutes and it will save almost I, as I told you it will save 90% uh, or 95% of your time and you can use that time somewhere else so when you will go here in the uh, batch entry transaction you will have options of entering bank transactions deposit transactions credit card charges and uh, then you will have you can enter the bill bill means you can enter your expenses from here and invoices at the moment I will discuss how you will enter the invoices uh, when you have lot of invoices and then I in the next video I'm gonna tell you how will you enter your cash transactions from your uh, bank statement and it will definitely save your time so I will uh, make another video uh, in that video I'm gonna tell you how will you use your bank statements all the transactions and you will enter at once so in this video I'm going to tell you this uh, invoices thing so I had this data this is my data this is date number customer we I have different customer and then okay so first of all you should have the same no name or not even there will be a dot of difference so if I am talking about the customer then so the name of the customer would be 100% same so I will do it right now for you guys so here I have customer 1 so I will make sure that here with me it should be the same customer 1 and the same so I will hit ok this is customer dash 1 ok so let's do it first addition first step is to do I will go to the customer center and I will make my data uh, same as the reports from where you are extracting data to put it in your Excel format so you should have data in Excel format sometimes it's very easy to gather data in Excel and then uh, or sometimes you have already an Excel and you are just entering again and again it takes a lot of your time so make sure that your data is sorted out in the same manner in the QuickBook that you are going to enter so I will do the same so I will you should have the same amount same uh, name so I entered customer 1 similarly customer 2 so you should have like this add new customer so I use the same name so it would be easy for then customer 3 alright then customer 5 so data would be same similarly I have classes also so I will make sure that I have the same exact name of account that I am using or class that I am using in the QuickBook and in the Excel so that when I am importing the data the computer or a QuickBook should read properly then I will make class 2 the step 1 this uh, exercise you have to do only once when you are starting 
to use this um, mechanism so once you have established your data in the same way then the next time you will just make copy and paste so it will take it will not take every time so this is the first time i'm going to teach that's why i'm making it so that we can understand the process okay then i have class one two and three then similarly in the item I should have the same item go here the list item list I will make new item as legal services here avenue okay all right so what else we have nothing then let's start so okay now I will go to the here as I told you go to the content and here enter batch transaction this time we are using for entering invoices and credit memo so I'm using only invoices at the moment so I will use this way so first there are two ways either you can if you have a lot of data and you want to save time just copy all this and paste it but if you are just a beginner you can do it one by one so either you can take one this if it's the same one one column at the time at a time so here it is so if you want to copy it down you can copy down so it will go to the copy down so just copy here how many transactions do you have it will do it like this way okay then we have invoices number we will write it, copy it and paste it it will do it the same way Similarly, now customer wise, you will just copy and paste. Okay, In this way, then description you can just copy here at once, paste, and just copy down. It will automatically, you will see here, it is automatically copied down till here. You can see here. Then, item you can select from here legal fees and just right click here and click copy down, it will go till here. Similarly now we have different classes so I will what I'm gonna do is I will just copy all this class and paste it and then here comes the amount column so I will copy here uh, let's mm, have some amount over here as well here here so I will copy it and paste it here in the amount section as well so you can see it now it's doing this is the one method the other method is make sure I'm going to clear it now this method other method the other method is just make sure your data is in the same format just make one copy and paste and top it will be done like here copy and paste that's it that's it yes this is all the time that it will take it's it's it is ridiculously perfect okay now you will just click save uh, we have not uh, okay this will even you, you let's make some description and description the description column item description service because it wasn't added so I will do it copy so that's it and save it that's it now let's see how it works I will go here reports company financial profit and loss let's see there was this is the one first of July we entered this let's see you can see it our sales has been recorded similarly let's see go and see our receivables you can see here customer one two three four has already been recorded similarly and with the invoice number even even, even there is invoice number so this is very fine so that's how it works some tip I will discuss with you enter batch transaction so this is the this is the by and large the method of uh, entering the batch transaction similarly you can do it for uh, bank transaction deposits and bills also you will have 
the other thing that is very important you can customize the columns according to your data like you can have uh, let's do it for uh, invoices that I did like customize and here you can have terms that so you can add or remove accordingly some are fixed like amount is fixed that you cannot remove it but you can change their position according to your excel data once you will take it and you will put it one more thing that i forgot to discuss with you, you here as i told you we can have the cl class as well as we entered you can see here location one location two location three location five so class wise you can also get the data so it will save as i told you 95 percent of your time if you learn to master this technique how to enter the batch transaction then it will save ridiculously of ridiculous amount of time so i hope you like it and if you like it please hit the subscribe button share with your friends so that they can also uh, benefit from this next video i will do it for the banking transaction it's a bit uh, tricky so how to how you can use the data sometime what happens some accountants they just maintain cash book and then they post it so then when they are posting they are doing one by one it takes hell of time i i have been through this so to save your time you will use it and magically your work will be much more easier so i will do one more video on this bad transaction uh, maybe uh, two more video one on salaries when when at the time of salaries because you are repeating the same transaction again and again it takes a lot of time so uh, maybe i do one video on uh, uh, banking transaction or expense section how to enter batch for that and the other video i'm gonna do it on salaries as well so i hope you like this video please hit the subscribe button share it with your friends and uh, comment thank you very much